In our previous video, we wired our three sensors and our encoder to our IO link. But one really cool feature about IO link is first, these two are discrete sensors and we can wire them to our IO link module. And then we have an IO link laser sensor here. You can actually wire it to a standard discrete input. So, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to take the wires off of the IO link and wire them to the Micro 850. Now, I like doing this with the Micro 850 is it can be seeking or sourcing input. So, not only are we going to learn how to wire a sensor, we're also going to have to understand seeking versus sourcing and PMP versus MPN. So first, let's check out what our sensors are capable of. And I've already downloaded the sensors. And our first one is the IO link sensor. And notice here, it says that it has a push-pull output. We'll come back to that. Now let's go over to our inductive prox. That's the one in the middle on our IO link setup. And it says that it can be a normally open PNP output. So it is fixed one direction. And then here is our capacitive prox. And it also says it is a normally open PNP. And we found out in our Compact Logix version of this video that we really couldn't get a lot out of the encoder because, yeah, that, uh, that's probably pushing the limits of what you could do. <laughs> but uh, we're not going to worry about the encoder in this one. But okay, since these two are fixed at PNP, the next thing we have to figure out is whether we need a syncing input or a sourcing input. And we have a video where we talk to the details of syncing versus sourcing. But in that video, which I'll put a link to the whole course series in the description where you can find it. And then we have this right here. And it says the following diagram can help you determine how to wire your PLC input or output. Put your hand over the type of input or output you're wiring. Your hand represents the PLC. What is left is how you wire your circuit. And so we know we have a PNP sensor, so it will need to wire to a syncing input. So the next question is, what type of inputs does the Micro 850 have? And if we go to twcontrols.com slash getting started, then if we go down a little bit, we're going to see the wiring it up to get started diagram for your PLC trader. And let's open it up and let's go down to page four. That is for the Micro 850. And you'll notice as opposed to the Compact Logix version of this, this just has a COM0. Now, this is an argument that I see made up in the comments a whole lot, is a lot of people want to tell me that common, the minus 24 volt of your power supply, neutral and ground are all the same thing. Those are four incredibly different items. And if we just look at this diagram here, then we see that this jumper is going across all the buttons. That means that from the perspective of these buttons, our common is the plus 24 volt. Now over here on the lights, we see the jumpers going across to the zero volt or the minus. So that is the common of the lights. So our question next is, what is the definition of the COM zero on the Micro 850? And if we look in the Micro 850 instruction manual, we have a 2080 L50E 24 QBB, and that's right down here in this area right here. I'm kind of nailing us down on the common and ground and minus 24 not at the same. Notice even here they warn you, do not connect the minus 24 volt to the earth chassis ground. So we need to understand the difference of those. But if we look down here, we get some examples. And notice it says here, sourcing plus DC goes to common. Sinking minus DC goes to common. And so if we go back over here, we knew we had a PNP sensor, and that meaning we needed a sinking PLC input. And so if we have a sinking PLC input, it will be the minus DC, or in our case, it's going to be the right set of terminals on our trainer. So we are going to take a wire from the right set of terminals, which is the minus 
we are going to connect it to Tom's theory. And that's going to make these sinking inputs. So then we got to figure out, we got four wires coming out of these sensors. We kind of learned a little bit about it from the IO link, but let's go back and just refresh here. Is if we go back and we're going to start with our inductive prox, it says that the brown is the plus 24, the blue is the minus 24, and that's pin one and pin three. And then this is the part that we get a little confused over because it's just a little square block here. Well, just imagine the square block is the PLC. And so we're going to take the black wire, which is pin four, to an input on the PLC. And then this little short piece you see going to the minus, that is COM0 right there. So that is this wire right here in that wiring diagram. And very similarly on the capacitive, we're going to have one brown B plus, three blue B minus, and then black will be our input. And there's that COM0 coming around. Okay, now on this one, this one actually will automatically switch is basically what it means by push-pull. And you'll notice the wiring is going to end up exactly the same. Brown, one, is going to be our plus 24. Blue, three, is going to be the minus. And then black, then four, that's going to be our input. And then depending on where we put COM0, notice here's that COM0 wire actually, where we put it determines whether it'll act as a PNP or an MPN sensor. So now what we want to do is in our previous exercise, we wired to the sensor inputs here and the back level, that is our minus 24 volt. And we have already have all of our blue wires there. So they are already wired. Even though we did it for the audio link, the wiring will be identical. And then our middle level, we put plus 24 volt and we already have all of our brown wires going there. And so then our top level, that's where we landed all of our black terminals. And right now, those are going up here to this I.O. link. So what I want you to do is just go ahead and remove the top three here. We're not going to worry about the encoder. This one is our laser sensor. This is our inductive prox. And this is our capacitor prox. So we're going to pop them off. And then we'll bring them around to our PLC. And we are going to make input zero our photoelectric. We're going to make input one our inductive prox, and we are going to make input two our capacitive prox. And now, if we put our hand over the laser, now be careful, if you put it too close, notice it switches off, if we put our hand so that it is illuminated here, we are now getting input zero here. Now we have an inductive prox here, so we can't flag that one for our hand. So if we take a piece of metal that I break, we are getting input one, and then we can use our hand on the capacitive prox, and we stick our hand over it, we're getting input two. Now, since we have the laser that can do push-pull, that really is NPN or PNP. Let's go ahead and take off our inductive prox and our capacitive prox, and just go ahead and put them back on the IO link where they were. What we want to do is we want to take the COM0 wire which currently I have connected to the minus terminal blocker, that right-hand set of terminal blocks. We're going to take it off, and we're going to put it on our plus terminal block. And since we put plus on it, that is going to make us sourcing. And if we have a sourcing PLC input, we would need an NPN sensor. And now it kind of makes it look like a normally closed box. But if we put our hand over, it turns off. So now we are switching this as an NPN sensor. I know a lot of you are going to say, well, why bother with this? You have the IO link set up now. Do we really need to learn that? Well, 100% we did. You won't have IO link on every single piece of equipment. So take the time to go through this exercise and learn how you would wire a standard sensor to a PLC input. And then, yeah. You are correct. Probably for most of the rest of the exercises, we will use it on IO link. So after you've learned that, go and put them back where they were. And then let's go ahead and add our IO link module over Ethernet to our Micro 850 PLC. And here's a playlist with that. 
and several other helpful videos.